What's up y'all, in this video I'm going to talk about sound selection, which I feel like is such an underrated part of beat making. And what I'm going to use stock sounds. I believe this is a stock sound, I'm not really sure to be honest with you, but like hi-hat aside. So we got the chord, we kind of have the hi-hat already. So like, I want you guys to understand that this is all feels, bro. This is all in the feels. So like, the key is to not rush it. And if you gotta pick multiple ones, that's okay. And so I'm in the uh, Legacy Drums, Real Drum Kits. I'm just like really taking my time with this one. Know this, that every sound you choose is gonna change the entire beat, like. Every sound is important. That's why like, if you ever heard of orchestra, if you ever been in band, that's why in band they don't just like, they're not just like, okay, you flute players work hard and y'all do everything else. And then like, you guys just try, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're very cohesive with every sound in a band. Even if it's the tuba, like the tubas need to be hitting on point. No disrespect to tuba players, I play euphonium, so I understand your struggle. And sometimes you want to layer sounds. You better hear it. That's exactly how I want it. You feel the snap? That's that feels, boy. And I'm determined to have somebody learn something from this. And just like, this is what I would really do. Sometimes I forget I'm even recording sometimes, to be honest with you guys. I'm just like, what am I doing again? There's a lot of sounds here. Don't get me wrong, like the stock sounds on FL are kind of like underrated. Like they're not like great, but like you can find some stuff in here. Uh, as I like scroll through some of the worst kits I've ever heard. <laughs> if you haven't, guys, watch my drum kit video. I think the hardest thing to find in this in the uh, these stocks are just like kicks that you can use. I feel like now these kicks are really good. It's like such a challenge. And you don't want to. Okay, come on, Matt. Come on, Maddie. Oh, you got this. You can you can find a kick that doesn't that isn't trash. This has gotta be it, man. All right, guys. You know what? For the sake of this video. We're going to go to my actual drum kits. And I'm gonna show you the difference of what I'm talking about. This would be a good fit. Also like, they don't really have 808s, stock 808s. So let's just, let's just keep it going guys. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, you know what I'm saying? No, okay, got it. Okay, now we're in the perk part. The snares aren't bad on uh, 
the stocks are not bad for FL really. Casually in the snare down. We could just play that. That's sound selection, y'all. I think we're done with this video. Sometimes you can do that. They call it the rim shot. Turn down a bit. What the heck? Hold on, it's so off. We also have the open eye. We want to box the open eye hat. Sauce glasses. <laughs> oh, good lord. Make me look bad, fam. That's probably what needs to be right there. sound selection hopefully you learned something man if you guys have any questions leave in the comment section <laughs> i'm here for you as far as 808s goes i mean you know yep just pick an 808 same same situation y'all but that's sound selection, guys. Make it to feels. Get in the feel zone. Vibe. Take your time picking the sounds. And uh, yeah, like, get you some dope drum kit. Check out my drum kit video. Um, if, you're, if you're curious of what hip-hop drum kits I suggest, stay tuned for more videos. Peace out.